I'm Randy and I make candy and tonight I'm making zero bars. Stick around. <music> Greetings my confectionery compadres and welcome to Randy Makes Candy, where I help you make tasty treats that people love to eat. And happy summer solstice. Today's the first day of summer, which I think is the perfect time to feature the classic Zero Bar, which was advertised as being as cool as zero degrees. Some people even suggested eating it straight out of the freezer, which sounds like great advice for the upcoming warmer weather. For those of you unfamiliar with the Zero Bar, it's an almond nougat with peanuts topped with a layer of caramel and coated with white chocolate. It made its first appearance in 1920 and is still available today, which is a longevity you don't often see in a candy bar. As always, I'd love to hear about your results if you decide to make your own Zero Bars, as well as suggestions for other recipes you'd like to see in future videos. Speaking of which, tonight's treat was requested by our compadre Mo. Thanks, compadre. Throughout this video, I'll be sharing with you some things I learned in the process of making these that I would probably do differently next time. Our motto here in the candy kitchen is I make mistakes so you don't have to. <laughs> for the nougat, I'm using two large egg whites, one eighth teaspoon of cream of tartar, three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar, two thirds of a cup of light corn syrup, two and a half tablespoons of water, one third teaspoon of salt, two thirds teaspoon each of vanilla and almond extract, and one half cup of roasted and lightly salted peanuts. For the caramel layer, I'm using three quarters of a cup of sweetened condensed milk, one quarter cup of butter, and 15 caramels. And for the coating, 11 ounces of white chocolate. For hardware, you can use an 8x8 pan, some parchment, a mixer with a whisk attachment, a saucepan, some spatulas, a thermometer, and a microwave-safe bowl. Okay, let's make some candy. Line an 8x8 pan with greased parchment and set it aside. I used a 6x6 when I made these and the nougat came out thicker than I wanted it to, so I had to trim the bars to size. An 8x8 would have given me just the right thickness. In a mixing bowl, combine the egg whites and cream of tartar, which will help keep your whipped egg whites from collapsing, then whisk on high speed until stiff peaks form. In a saucepan over medium heat, add the sugar, corn syrup, water, and salt. Stir until everything is dissolved, then add a thermometer. Continue stirring until the mixture reaches 245 degrees. I only brought it to 240 and the nougat was a little too loose and sticky. The higher temperature will make it easier to work with later. Remove the pan from the heat. Set the mixer to medium low, then slowly and carefully add the hot sugar mixture to the whipped egg whites. Add the vanilla, and almond extracts, 
and beat on high until the mixture is thick and cooled about five to 10 minutes. Fold in the peanuts. Then spread the nougat in the lined pan and chill until it's firm, at least several hours. In a saucepan over medium heat, add the sweetened condensed milk and butter. Stir until the butter is melted, then add the caramels and turn the heat to medium low. Stir this continuously so the caramels don't burn. When the caramels are fully melted, pour the mixture into some jars and set them aside. When the nougat is set, remove it from the refrigerator and spread some of the caramel filling over the top. I'd use about half of the filling that you just made. Place the nougat back in the refrigerator until the caramel is firm, but not too hard to cut, about 30 minutes to an hour. Using a sharp knife, cut the nougat into whatever size pieces you'd like. It may help to occasionally wipe the blade clean with an oiled paper towel. Melt the white chocolate, then dip a bar into the chocolate. Let it drain. And place it on a lined cutting board. Continue with the rest of the bars, then leave them on the counter to set. And that's it! Okay, let's have a taste. Slancheva. Very tasty. Maybe you heard that crisp snap as I bit through the white chocolate coating. Nice contrast there with the creamy nougat and the crunchy peanuts. Very sweet, as you'd expect, but the almond in the nougat comes through nicely, and the peanuts add their own nutty character to the profile. I'll admit that this isn't the easiest treat we've made here in the candy kitchen, but if you ever find yourself in the mood for the great flavors of a zero bar, from the freezer or not, you really ought to try these. If you enjoyed your time here in the candy kitchen, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for sticking around, and I hope you'll join me next time. And happy summer solstice. So, 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 no, so bad. As well as for, so, so close. I used a six pies, six pie? No. Which will help keep your whipped egg white. Wait, what?